I'm Paul Josephson, a professor of history at Colby College in Waterville, Maine, and a fellow at the Rachel Carson Center for Environment and Society here in Munich, doing research on an environmental history of Soviet Arctic conquest. After the Russian Revolution in 1917, uh, Soviet leaders were faced with immense problems that required them to consider how to transform the Tsarist Empire with its religious institutions, with its capitalism, uh, with its poverty, with its illiteracy, into a modern people, into a working class, into a literate people, uh, capable of creating an industrial superpower. At first, however, they had to focus on controlling the central regions of the country and resurrecting industry that had fallen to pre-1913 production levels. So the Arctic was a, an important part of their interests in the 1920s, but only to have individual researchers or small groups go into the Arctic and find out what does it look like, what's there. Only under Stalin in the 1930s did the Soviets, both scientists and leaders, begin to support extensive research and development of Arctic resources. So my work focuses on the period 1930 to 1990 and the efforts to understand Arctic resources, Arctic weather, Arctic regularities, Arctic difficulties, and to move people into the Arctic, to create an urban Arctic, to create an industrial Arctic, of which there was none, to create cities in the tundra, to create lumbering operations in the taiga, to transform rivers into hydroelectric power stations, and so on. And so I've looked at this in my research, this heroic effort. It really is a heroic effort, but it's also an effort that had great human and environmental costs. And so in my research at the Rachel Carson Center, I'm focusing both on the heroic aspects, what the Soviets managed to achieve in 60 years, and the environmental and human costs of this effort, uh, which involved slave laborers connected with the gulag. It involved vast tracts of spoiled land. It involved destruction of ecosystems. Uh, it involved uh, ignorance, um, ignorance on the part of party leaders who refused to pay attention to these costs so that the entire industrial transformation of nature could, con could continue.